everybody. Today I have a new haul for you. Um, I haven't done a haul on this brand for a really long time, which is weird because I shop them all the time. Yes, this is an Amazon haul. I basically am collected a whole bunch of stuff that I've purchased over the past, I don't know, three, four months. I basically picked my favorites. I'll tell you why they're my favorites. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. A couple items are new and I haven't really worn them yet, so I'll point those out as well. But yeah, let's get into this Amazon haul. I just want to point out that my dog has decided, rather than being inside while I film, that he is going to sit outside and lounge. So I'm sitting here working hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. And he is out there doing this. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the haul. So the first item is probably the item I've had the most questions about, which is this tie-dye hoodie, which I have cropped. It did not come cropped. It is awesome. I would say, I'll be real with you. The reason I cropped it is I have big hips, and I just don't like the way hooded sweatshirts typically fall up my hips. They tend to be loose everywhere else and then tight on my hip, so I just wanted to crop it. I've been looking for this style of tie-dye for forever. It's ridiculously hard to find and plus, super easy to find in ye tiny girl sizes. So when I found this, I jumped on it, was pleasantly surprised. Even though it was a little tight on my hips, it still totally worked as a long hooded sweatshirt. So if you're an apple shape or like don't have Megatron hips like I do, it probably still would work fine. I mean, it even works for me. It's just, I don't feel comfortable that way. So I just cropped it. It's really cute as a crop. All I did is just cut it straight across the, right above where the pocket was. I wear this all the time. You'll see it in my Insta stories all the time. And it's super comfortable. I cannot recommend it more. It's the best. I might buy another one. I hopefully, I haven't looked, but I'm hoping there's another type of tie dye on there. And then I can just live the rest of my life in my apartment in tie dye cropped hoodies. Cause I would do it and I would not feel bad about it. So this is the hoodie on, which should come as no surprise if you watch my Insta stories, because I have it on all the time already, but I just love it. Next is a dress from Rachel Ray. I have not even tried this on yet. So I did a little project with um, Amazon for TikTok, and this is one of the items I ordered, but unfortunately it did not come in time for the video. So I haven't tried it on, we'll try it on together today. But I loved it because it's a sweater dress, but it almost looks sparkly which means you know you get all the kind of fun of glitter without like the itchiness because we all know that glitter fabric not usually comfortable I'm gonna speak real here which is hard for me on a very personal level it upsets me but um, I just loved the way it looked it does feel really good it feels like it has a lot of stretch to it so that it would be bodycon but be really comfortable but you know we'll see how it looks on I'm excited about this one. Rachel Roy has a lot of, it's not Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray makes dog food and used to have like a cooking show. Rachel Roy makes clothing. Um, I will say I've had a couple pieces from her and I do find they're really well made, but the fit is sometimes hit or miss. Um, I've had things where I'm like, wow, the fit on this is the best item I've ever had. And then I've had times where I'm like, what? So I'm hoping that this falls into like the best I ever had. So this is pretty dang comfortable. A lot more comfortable than I expected it to be. Um, I'm real happy with this dress. <laughs> You're gonna have to rip it out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just, I like Daily Rituals t-shirts. If you are not on the Daily Ritual gang, they have a bunch of different items you can get. They're all fairly priced, they're all well made. It's probably one of the best basics line this brand does. So I just, I needed a white t-shirt. <laughs> Not that exciting, but it's true. Pro tip, I find these just as comfortable as the universal standard t-shirts, which are considerably more expensive. I only wish I had figured it out sooner because I bought a bunch of those and paid a lot more. Now that I have this dress, this is another one I haven't tried on yet. Now the fabric is a little bit of that like sheeny jersey, which I'm not nuts on. But what I am nuts on is the style of the dress, which is a daisy print, super 90s, spaghetti strap. So I actually hope it works. I'm probably gonna wear it like this. Um, because I just, 
I just, well, you'll see, I have a whole outfit envisioned that is basically all from Amazon, not intentionally, just happened. And maybe I'll try it on at the end. Actually, no, challenge, go to my Instagram and you can see the outfit. Ooh, now I have to be like on top of it and actually take a picture and upload these at the same time. Oh, why do I make more work for myself? But yes, if you wanna see my like way I dreamed of styling this and the pieces I used from this haul to do it, it actually probably won't be that exciting because it'll probably be pretty obvious. But yo, if you want to like play that game, go to my Instagram. And if you leave a daisy emoji, I'll know that's what sent you there. So based on the listing online, I had serious concerns that this was going to be super short. And it's actually the perfect length. So I'm super psyched that it fits the way I wanted it to fit. Yay! This skirt is a viscose, colorful dream. I have it. I know Essie Golden has it because I showed her a little video and she's like, oh my god, I have that skirt too. It's pleated. I'll be honest. It's not a super expensive skirt. It's not like you're not going to get like 85 million wears out of it and it's not like designer label. That said, it's fun. It's great for a couple of wears and it's not super expensive. This also falls really nicely into like the 90s prints trends that are coming back. So it allows you to play with that trend without investing like a bajillion dollars. In fact, I used this for that like early 90s, late 80s trend, a look I was doing for a TikTok video. And I love it, it's very comfortable. Elastic waistbands are my friend. It came with a lining, but I didn't like it, so I cut it out. I just felt like it didn't lay right on my body, so I just cut it out, just so you know. I just love how colorful this skirt is. And I just realized that I had a mint queen shirt that was like adorable, that was Stranger Things themed. And it's also dirty and also not in this haul, but I will link it down below because it's adorable. It says Hawkins Middle School AV Club. It's near and dear to my heart. This is just Nike front via Amazon. Um, this jacket is my favorite thing in the entire world. I wear it a lot when I travel. It's just a satin pink jacket with Nike ticking detail. That's really all it is, but it's amazing. It's literally so good. And like, even if I just hold it up, Instantly my face is like brighter and happier. Oh, it's great. Nike quality is really solid. I feel like they're improving their plus sizing. I feel like I need to do an entire Nike haul just to give my like verdict on whether they got their ish together or not. But they still aren't using a lot of big girls in their social media, which makes me be like, mm, do I want to yet? We'll see. But this jacket, I do approve. I absolutely adore this jacket. It's super comfy, super true to size. The one thing that does bother me is I can't really put the arms up and like I always tend to press the arms up this is what I do style wise so it feels a little bit not me for that reason but it does not stop me from wearing it a zillion times so I guess it's not really a deal breaker this was a random purchase that I fell in love with uh it is just a striped shirt with a blue ticking around the neck and then a light purple sleeve and a light yellow sleeve this is very in with the kids the cool kids wear stuff like this, um, but it is not from a fancy skater brand. No, it is not from Tilly's or Zoomies or Roros or Tabadas. I'm making up these store names because like, they all sound like made up store names. Like seriously, like I'm gonna open a store called bloop, 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 and all the kids gonna be like, oh my God, I got this shirt from bloop, bloop, bloop. Cause that is how these stores are named it feels like. But this was great, I did, no, no, I got a 3X, so it's pretty true to sizing, and it's super comfortable, very soft, and a fun little look. The only thing about this shirt that annoys me like a little bit is I feel like the arms are super long. I do fold them up typically when I wear them to like here, but I, I don't know if I love like the drop shoulder on it. This bomber is bananas. I love it, and oh, it's great. This is from Corten. If you guys have never tried anything from Corten, I tell a lot of people about Corten. It is another Amazon house brand. It is a fitness line and it is both straight and plus sizes. I love their gear. I, I wear their sports bras a lot. I have a couple pairs of their pants that I also enjoy really well. I actually really love their sports bras. But this jacket was from that line and I was super pumped about it. And I did get to go with it a matching sports bra. I also had pants, which I will also link down below, but um, I wear them so much that they're not clean right now. Facts, they're not clean and I can't put them in this haul, but I will link them. They're like a sweatpant and this whole look like this sweatpant, this little bra, 
my little jacket over top. I feel like one of those cool kids in a dance music video. As you can see, it's perfectly matched because, duh, that was the aesthetic I was going for. It's just comfortable. I really like it. One thing I'll note is this doesn't have pockets in it. Oh, it does. It has tiny zipper pockets. My world has just been forever changed. Like, I'm in the back, J-Lo's singing about love and a man leaving her, and I'm like, look at me in my matching burgundy outfit. Mm, I fit in, cause my shoes match my shirt. And speaking of which, <laughs> like, what? Let's, let's just pull it all out together. I did also get these shoes to match, because <laughs> I really did want that aesthetic. I really did want that aesthetic. So these are actually little Puma soft foam shoes. These are really comfortable. I actually had never worn Puma shoes before this. I literally bought them because I was like, oh my God, it's the same color. And my type A mind wanted that perfect backup flow girl. My, my, bleh. my you know, type A brain wanted that perfect fly girl outfit. And I got it. I got it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, apparently I do have a problem. I really like bomber jackets. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I, I, I'm going to Vegas literally tomorrow and I couldn't not. I mean, how could I not? Hello, I'm Anna. I like to win money. I like sparkles. It's just, it's just so sparkly and so soft. It's from Rebel, which is Rebel Wilson's line and it is, the best. Uh, basically, if you're a bomber jacket and you fit me right, I'm into you. <laughs> Why can't more men be like bomber jackets and just generally meet my needs? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. I love it. It's it's definitely the highest quality. It's fully lined. It's um, I don't know what this fabric is, but it's magical. I've never felt any sparkle fabric that feels this soft. Like it really is something crazy is going on with this fabric. I actually wonder if it's their own fabric because it's, I would buy everything made with this because as we discussed earlier, sparkle fabric usually itches and this one is like soft and dreamy and buttery. It's a buttery jacket. And I've never felt fabric like this, this is soft. And I think that makes, it makes it worth paying a little bit more for. So this sweater is supposed to be oversized. It's not. And I even ordered a size up, but that's what you get with some of these Amazon sellers. The way Amazon works is it's like a marketplace. So there's things that Amazon makes and then they control the sizing and how it's described and everything else. And there's things that like random sellers sign up to Amazon and sell and Amazon has no control on how they describe or size their clothing. So you get instances like this. Now I will say, I actually really like the fit. Um, even though it is, you know, not what I expected. It's a nice fitted, pink leopard print sweater and I'm here for it. I would say if you want this fitted, go a size up. If you want it really oversized, well, go maybe three sizes up. But either way, it's a very soft, very well made and it's a nice sweater, I like it. I don't have any regrets, it's just different than I thought it would be. Even though the sizing is totally different than what I thought it would be, and even the cut, I still really like how it looks on me. Okay, this, this is cool. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this out. I've worn it in my apartment a dozen times already. But this is a crop top that zips down. Oh yeah, so like just like this. And then you have these pants, which are just like almost like a legging, a little bit looser around the side, but like pretty much a legging. And they're in that buttery kind of, um, jersey print that a lot of leggings are made out of. I don't know how to explain it. It's, I think they call it like a brushed fake suede, whatever that stuff is. That's what the whole outfit is made out of. It is super cool. It is super comfortable. Um, I don't really have any other thoughts on it other than like check out this print. I mean, that's, that's a pretty crazy print. And I was a little like worried that this would not fit. Totally true to size. Which is a shocker because I ordered off of the same, like, look. Like, there, you know, sometimes with the Amazon sellers that are not Amazon registered, it'll be like three entirely different outfits under one, <laughs> one item. Yeah. So it was one of those situations, and there was a crop skirt and crop top item. 
Typically I have more luck with those than pants because who knows what will fit these candy juicy thighs. But no, that was like made for a baby and this was made perfectly. So I would recommend this set, but not the crop top and skirt that is listed under the same record. You just can't hate on this fit. You just can't hate on it. I mean, you just can't hate on this. It's too cool, right? Like, look. Bam, chicka, bam, wow, bam, chicka, wow, wow. I mean, seriously, it's a solid look. It's a look. On to our next item. Which is a skirt. <laughs> it's like not even an exciting skirt. This is a skirt from Calvin Klein. And I just needed a new black pencil skirt. That's it. It's a black pencil skirt. It's stretchy. It looks cute. Um, I will tell you, I don't love the vents in the back because I like to wear shorts under mine and my thighs usually pull that vent apart because the, they want to break free. They want to break free from the skirt. They want to be out in the open so everybody can see. Okay, what you guys missed is I was doing a sweet like pelvic like circle that I really feel like, you know what? No, you're going to see this. You're gonna see this. I was doing this. I really felt like you needed to see that because I was proud. It felt good. It felt good while I was doing it. When it feels good, you need to share it. Hashtag, this is why I'm single. So this skirt, super comfortable and it's also long enough that I can wear shorties underneath and be totally fine. <laughs> okay, and I love the bat, the last, I love the last, Clothing item, it's my favorite. No more specifics, but it's a crop top that says, no honey, you're thinner than me, not prettier. And I, I uh, threw that in cause like Visco girls are cool now. So I'm just trying to be like a cool kid. Look at me, I'm cool. Save the turtles, metal straws, hydro flask. Am I cool now? Um, yeah, I just like it. I will say it fits a little bit on the smaller side. I got a 4X fits slightly snug 3x so if you are a 2x order a 3 if you're 1x or 2 blah 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 size up that's all you need to know because i was putting this shirt on i was struck by the irony of it not being sized correctly because <laughs> it's a shirt for plus size people it should be sized correctly but you know this is the world we live in as you can see it's definitely a tighter fit 3x but i'm wearing a 4x so again Size up, size up. So again, size up, size up, size up, size up, size up. If you want the top to fit at all, size up, size up, size up, size up, size up. I have a couple more pairs of shoes I want to show you guys because I just think they're really great. And I have this weird foot that's like in between, right? So I'm not quite a wide foot, like to the point where I need a really, really wide shoe. But I'm also sometimes not a medium. I like live in that in between. And these two pairs of shoes fit that in between fantastically. So I wanted to share them with you. The first pair are these really cool boots. These are in a size 12. I run between a size 11 and 12 in shoes. Typically if it's a closed toe, I like to do a 12 just because if my feet swell or anything, I want the the shoe to still be comfortable. These I think are really fun. I like that they have the side zipper so they're easy to get off and on and they're very comfortable. They're just super comfy. Um, I wore them shooting some looks and I have no complaints and I can't wait to wear them more when it's a little bit colder in Austin. The next pair is just super fun. These are some closed toe pointed blue fake suede flats. These are also in a size 12 and super comfortable. Super comfortable. In fact, I was jumping up and down in these and they still did not hurt, didn't have any problems. Considering purchasing them in another color, they do come in a variety of colors. And I just think they're a great basic flat. I love that these look, you know, with the strap around the ankle, will look really cute with like a little bit of a crop pant as we get into fall or even a gaucho because as those are still really popular, you can have like a little, you know, fun on the ankle. Everybody loves a little ankle fun. <laughs> I am on creep mode 1000 today, so apologies. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna show you guys three bags that I love that I got off Amazon. The first, this bag. Also comes in a bajillion colors. I have not taken photos with it yet, but I've carried it all over and I absolutely love it. It's just, 
it's so cool. And I believe if I, my memory serves me correctly and I did buy this a while ago, it's about like 12 bucks. So it's not a super expensive investment, super on trend, super geometric, really cool. Then I have, and I just put this in this haul because I get an ask every time I wear it, the fanny pack. I have three, maybe four of these. I wear them all the time. They're from Everest. They are $7 and they're awesome. They fit a bottle of water in the back. I can fit my phone in here. There's also a pocket that lays across your stomach. So if you're traveling somewhere, it's very hard to take money out of. So this is my go-to jam for a fanny pack. All the colors, all the prints, all the fun and not expensive. Then we have this cute little bag from Puma. I found it while I was shopping for the shoes. I still have this little thing on it and I've physically used this. In fact, I've been using it to like, my apartment has like a gym and a pool near to it. So I'll go to the gym and I'll put my swim gear in here and then I'll put swap, right? And go to the pool after and then have my nasty smelling clothes in this. So <laughs> it smells great. <laughs> no, it is, it is my gym bag. And I like it cause it's like a cute gym bag. Like, oh, I'm just so cute at the gym me at the gym just girly old me um but I just thought it was a really nice sized bag and I also like the shape of it because it's not like a duffel it's a, it's almost like a, a larger size tote it's fun I like it and the last thing I want to talk to you about is hair clips and the reason I talk to you about this is because this is the number one thing I get asked about I see people charging so much for these and I want to teach you a little trick if you see a clip that is covered in pearls if you are paying $10 for a set of two, you are a chump. Because on Amazon, you can get a set of 17 different pearl clips for $7.53, or at least that's what it was when I bought it. And they are awesome. These have been with me all over the world. They've held up, I think I've had one clip break. And it mostly broke because I got my hair stuck in it and then I was maybe a little bit drunk and I had to pull it out and I like ripped part of my hair out in addition to breaking the clips. So that is that really the clip's fault or is it the fact that I was a hot mess? Either way, these are great and I cannot recommend them more. I also bought, speaking of my clip game, this bag of just colored ones for about the same price. And this is like 120 every color of the rainbow you could ever want. So if you're looking to up your clip game, check Amazon. I will link to several of my favorites down below. I've purchased quite a few and they've all been great. They've all held up. And frankly, I'm not gonna pay $10 for two. I've learned my lesson. So yeah, be smart, get your clips on Amazon. Uh, with that, that's my Amazon haul. That's it guys, we're done, we out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Links to everything are down in the description box. I also put a link to my Amazon master list, which has like everything that I like over the years. I try to keep it fresh. I try to add when I buy things onto there. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I'll check you later and peace.